Hey guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on Fortran programming. Now, in the last tutorial, what we saw is that we saw to write the write uh, recursive functions and how to call one function inside the other and other and another related stuff. Now, in this tutorial, we will be seeing as to how to call how to you know is there any other possibility to call to write the function definition inside the program inside the program and uh, try to well let's try to call it with other functions so what i do is that let me just call this function here this this fact function I just cut this up save it here okay and then i write it inside this function definition like this and uh, I take this keywords off so that I'm indicating to the program, indicating to the Fortran compiler that this entire program has contains this function. Okay, and now this part has to be slightly tabbed out to make it fit. And this region, all of this has to be tabbed one more space so that everything gets aligned. Nice. Now what we do is that it's the same program, but uh, we just remove that function or from the from here we put it over here so fortunately this should work now will it work let's see let me let me clear all this content over here let me raise this up you have to yeah if I have to I mean run this okay let me see what's what it shows it show it uh, it shows all the files that are available. It shows that there isn't any mod file. That's okay. And then this line, it shows it just lists out all the files. And in this line, we get all the dot o files available. That's fine. So it means the compilation goes fine. But afterwards, it just shows some uh, indication saying that there is an undefined reference to fact underscore and all. And that being said. It shows, it shows an error that uh, le returned one exit status and it shows here that uh, per underscore com.exe no file or uh, no file or uh, such file or directory exist and all when we list this file we saw we, uh, when we list this file okay during the build process there is uh, there isn't any executable file that is present so meaning uh, the compilation worked out fine, the removal worked out fine, the execution will work, is not working because it shows that there is no percom, the executable has not been generated and if you guys look at this list uh, list line over here, it lists out all the files and if you guys notice there isn't any executable file here. Now the problem that comes here is that the compilation works fine. Now the problem is in the build. Now let us troubleshoot this. Suppose maybe maybe the order might matter let's say. So I, what I do is that I just write uh, percom com dot o because uh, all these functions defined in this defined in this program defined in this space but in this file needs this factorial. Suppose if you had to run this first, compile this with and com merge this object file with this object file, you may not get the issue. You may get an error. So what I do is that I just do compile. For, Merge this first, and then uh, fact per com func dot o. Compile this out, and let me see whether if I get a similar problem. Yes, I get a similar problem. Now, what could be the reason of it? It, I think it. I think it's possibly because my belief hunch is that it's possibly because, possibly because of this definition inside the main program. What you do? Let me just cut this, okay? To pro to ensure that this is not uh, this is because of the definition inside the main program. Let me just print it. Uh, let me just type type this below, and you know, you know, set these tabbings straight. Now that set, set the tab, tab, tab straight and to make sure that this does not hinder what I do is that I just comment this entire line out yeah and in shell script if you want to comment certain lines out you have to put a, put a hash symbol at the front what I do I just repeat this but uh, I just take this hash of it and then what I do is that I remove all this and I put a star dot o to make the compilation go on its own 
means the building on go on its own now what i do is that uh, let me run this for com script again huh. now if you guys notice uh, it worked out fine it worked out pretty fine and it's show it's the executable is uh, made and it's active and waiting for us to give an answer let me give it 16 for n and 3 for r and it works fine and if i were to run this again this time let me give a different value like 3 and r is 16 i get a segmentation for core dumped error because uh, you know 3 divided by 16 may be a little under, under, I mean 3 divided by 16 is 0 so not, not the uh, integer wise it's kind of 0 and uh, you guys notice for negative numbers the factorial is hard to comprehend and you might have a little different different answers and all for negative numbers factorial does not hold good and all uh, something of that something of that sort anyway that just that's the fact suppose you have to compile this with another value like pi and two yeah we are getting a good answer fine now uh, this the now from this example we are coming with a conclusion suppose if you were to define Suppose if you were to define a program definition, a, a function definition, or in the future, for that matter, even a subroutine definition, such that the entire, uh, such that those definitions are placed inside the program, then those function, those functions or subroutine definitions become a part of the program, and they be, uh, they not accessible to other functions and subroutines. Okay. On the other hand, if I were to write that, write the same definition outside the program either in the same script or on a different script those functions become available for all the functions that are under consideration now if i were to write everything that if that uh, if i were to write all of this okay all of this in the same function sorry in the same file like this and uh, go ahead with it now this is the most advantageous method because if this uh, set of functions i can club this with any other program that i want and uh, these functions are such defined such that you know you can use this in any program of your choice if you were to write if you were to write the function definitions here only those prog only those five uh, functions that are available within the project they can be used other than that this is the most advantageous method okay now uh, this is something you have to keep in mind and I think this applies to for subroutines as well. And uh, that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial. Yeah, possibly in the next tutorial, we'll be looking at uh, uh, subroutines and modules and modules and uh, and then we look at little more of com little more complicated examples on how to mod how to use factorials. Sorry, how to use subroutines and functions for little more complicated purposes. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys learned something from this video. Uh, do so, and I forgot. Please do subscribe to my channel and uh, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.